We are ready tonight to kick things off with yet another edition of SmackDown Live. The arena sold out, tensions at an all-time high, and all roads lead to the pay-per-view. Why waste time? Let's get it started now. And we're starting this card off with some fireworks. Let's do this. Singles match. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. Versus a formidable opponent. You don't want to miss it. WWE's Apex Predator. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Oh, yeah. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 200. Oh, man, still not officially underway. Well, official or unofficial, we're rolling here. And there's a stiff uppercut. Oh, there's some good contact there by Randy Orton. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Jeff Hardy truly is a charismatic enigma. You don't know what persona he's going to take any given night. Yeah, and you never know what he'll jump off of to make the highlight reel and pick up a win. Oh, I think this man needs business. Not looking good for Jeff Hardy there. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Two. Quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Jeff Hardy's on the attack. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. Incoming. For someone to survive a battle against Randy Orton, two things are critical. One, do not fall victim to the Viper's mind games. He's a master in psychological warfare. And number two, stay away from the RKO. Something big is coming. Orton needs to regroup and fast. He could be in dire straits in a hurry. The Apex Predator is so dangerous in so many ways that what you said earlier, Corey, is more than accurate. Randy Orton can slither his way into an opponent's mind, and then Randy Orton is getting ready here. Oh! Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Look, Jeff Hardy is on the attack now. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. And now it's Jeff Hardy getting pushed to the limit. This match is definitely testing his metal, guys. At this point, they both look to be about evenly matched. Maybe I'd give him an edge, but not by much. Randy better not lose focus on what matters, and that's winning this match. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. 
The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, my goodness. Jam your leg in a bad way. What is Randy Orton's best strategy at this point? You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. And Randy Orton just slips out of harm's way. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Whoa. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. We may very well be seeing the finisher on a breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. This is going to be big, one way or another. Jeff Hardy's going for it. One ton bomb! The cover here. Two, three. The match is over. That's all she wrote. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Here is your winner. Where's it? We all knew the situation was going to explode sooner rather than later. Well, uh, going to the top, high risk. We have a great match coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents. Well, he's back at NXT where he had his most success. 
Vamanos. And from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, C. Huh? Oh, flying forearm, that'll turn your lights out. Check out Sin Cara's offense. within this rank. Flying Mayorata! He's starting to stagger a bit. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Sin Cara is scaling the ropes. It's more than appropriate that there's a... Mysterious aura around Sin Cara, since the name itself in Spanish means faceless. But that's just the beginning, when this thrilling luchador hits the ring. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. You can't get much higher than that. We've seen Sin Cara earn unbelievable victories over much larger opponents. Just take a look at the Faceless One's victories over the likes of Titus O'Neil Rusev and the bitter rival, the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin. The Faceless One's capable of so many amazing maneuvers from the top rope, it's hard to keep track of all of them. You should be grateful that I'm here to do that for you. He's, and he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. And what a reversal from Sin Cara. That was impressive, Cole. That break to punch. You have to think that's it. Ooh, what an up. slouch guys well he had to expect to take some punishment here right i mean it'd be crazy for him to think he was going to walk away from this match completely unscathed This 
is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, incredible. All is connecting with the move to end this matchup. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. Will he be victorious? You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. And I'm sure the Almas slips out of harm's way. Takes him out with a cross body. might be needed to overcome this beating. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. When this guy's on, look out. Hits with the clothesline. Big open. Ow! That hurt! Big open. Nice down kick. Great elevation. Big opening for Sin Cara here. Yeah, few superstars are as acrobatic. Look out! You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. Nobody comes back from this. That's how you put... He's got him covered. Two! Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? Oh, that was close. Nicely executed. That might have grounded Sin Cara for good. This is almost his chance. He hits the clothesline. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. At what point do those thoughts creep in of, what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I, I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. So Cara, so deceptively strong. Maximum impact. Big opening for Sin Cara here. Now Sin Cara needs the capital. Swanton Bomb! Big opening for Sin Cara here. He's going for the pin. One, two, three! Sin Cara! Sin Cara wins. How about another look at some of the highlights? I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a Here few times. Here is your times. winner, Epic. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. We have a great match coming up next. We have a real fan favorite taking on some tough competition. Who will reign supreme? Despite what Byron Saxon said about him in the past, Shelton Benjamin is a true legend, and he's ready for action. The gold standard in WWE. Making his way to the ring from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds.
The eclectic Shinsuke. And from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, well, the I think United it's about to be a States highlight champion, reel. Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, the referee needs to get control of this. Yeah, that didn't take long. This might be it. Oh, my. So damaging. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One on one. Mano a mano. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is Ouch. not on the line here tonight. feels like. That landed perfectly. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Nakamura seems to have lost a step now. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. Putting it all on the line. He's just playing classic offense here. Showing some quickness there. Quick thinking by Shinsuke Nakamura. You're seeing the ranking like the one this superstar did this past week has to be such an amazing motivator. Now let's see if he equates it to another victory here tonight. This kind of offense he's known for. That's how you wear down your opponent. Jeez. On the flip side of what Byron was saying earlier, we've seen superstars relax a bit after being slotted high in the rankings. And that, of course, is the last thing you want to do in a situation. Pinfall attempt here for Shelton Benjamin. On oh, a quick kick out from Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah. Too soon. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. I can't even imagine the pain inflicted from this stretch. Normally, we hear plenty of debates surrounding the weekly power rankings, but this week, it seems both fans and superstars alike agree with how everything shook out. Boy, that hit the mark. Yeah, not too much debate over the rankings this week, though. I will say that some people from the Superstars camp think it could have been just a little more favorable. You can't please everybody, Saxton. These are the same people who would win the lottery and then complain about having to pay taxes. Come on. Oh, goodness. Jam your leg in a bad way. Superstar is it enough to end this match when this guy's on look out Shot 
think this man means business. Corey, check this out. Yeah, that was amazing. Going all the way up. Incoming. He's got the shoulders down. And he kicks out. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Shinsuke Nakamura just too fast for him. It's like trying to fight smoke. This is dangerous right here. Look at this. Oh boy, he is rolling. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. What Shinsuke and Nakamura are putting together here. One move after the other. It's devastating to think. I almost wrote him off earlier. That's it. Nakamura just ended it. What Shinsuke and Nakamura putting together here. Kinshasa! This is his opportunity. Here's the cover. Two. Three. And that does it. Shinsuke Nakamura captures the win. That match deserves another look. Here we go. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. From the opening bell, this match was one for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. Here is your winner, Shinsuke. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have a team led by a real fan favorite against Team Sheamus. Big time matchup. Tag team action. Ready to go here. And look at these two. Trash talking. Oh, look. They're not going to wait. They're just going to throw down. Yeah, I mean, this rivalry's been building and building and building. And I knew that there was going to be something like this. That there was going to be a blow up here tonight. Oh, 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 man. Finally, these two are in the ring where their grudge can get settled. No more excuses. We're going to find out who the better superstar is. And, man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. And he's a proud guy. Man. That title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. Look at this. This is some great offense by Sheamus. Got him on that one. Clearly on a mission here. The Swiss Superman is pound for pound one of the strongest men in WWE today. Cesaro has put that scary strength on display with feats like winning the inaugural Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and taking the great Kali for a swing. stated, Michael, is why Cesaro is called the Swiss Superman. He's earned that name through incredible feats of athleticism. Lifting giants over the top rope, swinging 400-pound men with ease, tearing apart beach balls. Cesaro's repertoire is so deep, so diverse, the guy does things you've never seen before. He's inflicting some serious pain here.
The neutralizer certainly puts Cesaro's opponents in their place. Face down on the canvas. When Cesaro gets an opponent in that position, there is no escape. Cesaro's neutralizer was created by the legendary competitor Carl Gotch, who was one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions in the 1970s. Cesaro's interpretation of the maneuver is just awesome. The neutralizer is just another way for Cesaro to exhibit his superhuman strength. When the Swiss Superman lifts you up for that move, you're staying down for good. his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, no, man, that hurts. And Sheamus reverses it. Sheamus finding a path of destruction currently. right off his feet. Not today. Disqualify this man. Sheamus is showing a lot of heart here, but how can he turn this around in his favor? He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win here. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance from him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. Since exploding onto the ECW scene in 2009, the Celtic Warrior has made a habit of beating people up and winning championship gold. Sheamus' power was so impressive, it even landed him on the cover of Muscle & Fitness magazine. His partner wants back in. Yeah, but what you want and what you get are often two very different things. If this match heads outside, things can go south real quick. Let's hope not. Through his battles with the likes of Triple H, John Cena, The Shield, Big Show, and Dolph Ziggler, Sheamus has established himself as one of the most powerful WWE superstars in sports entertainment today. Guys, just listen to this and tell me if this isn't dominating. Sheamus is a former WWE champ. Rowan, big move. Yes, and Rowan may have just closed the book on this one. That'll put... He goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, I think this man needs business. And he got a near fall out of it. I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon, and given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week. But that's even possible. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a... Sheamus looking for something big! And a third by Sheamus! Good grief! Sheamus can't waste any time here. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a road kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down, and the third fall was ruled a double count. You gotta think about using the finish.
finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. Perfectly executed. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. And as you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt Inside the ring now. Perfectly executed. The weekly rankings are up, guys, and this superstar has to feel pretty dark. Sheamus has eyes to finish. Oh, boy, he is rolling. What noise, what impact. Sheamus can't waste any time here. You don't want to see your internist after a slam like that. for sure for this superstar as Byron was saying but that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone it's been one great performance after another as of late if you ask me yeah it really has Cole and like Byron was saying when you rank that high you have to feel good about yourself now let's see if that equates to another victory here tonight better move there getting away with that one Just going for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Harper, big move coming. I'm not so sure the body's supposed to absorb that type of impact. That'll put Sheamus in a bad mood. Can Sheamus stay in this after that? Doubtful. He's looking a little weary here. He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come to that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you... Harper, big move coming! And the Cesaro section can't be far behind. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. no. Vertical suplex! Nice. Done. This superstar is dangerous both inside and outside the ring. Sheamus looking for something big. The high pass. But can he follow up here? His shoulders are down. What a way to win a singles match. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable Here WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, the you just got a taste of the Sheamus unbelievable kind. And Cesaro, the bar. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. When you put these two together, victory is really the only plausible outcome. Plenty more action still to come here. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have Team Rusev versus a formidable opposition, to say the least. Big time matchup. <laughs> 
What day is today? That's right, you sing it loud and proud, ladies and gentlemen, today is Rusev Day. What the? I don't think we're going to wait for the match to start. Oh, and now we have a ball on our hands. Oh, yeah. They didn't need the match to start to make a point. Nice move. And the strike connects. And he lands a savage elbow. He got him good there. Amazing move there. Right off the apron. Oh, no. He's inflicting some serious pain here. John Cena got him there. Flattens him with a bulldog. Aiden Engel's starting to slow a bit. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. said and done, we'll be talking about this match for a long time. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Whoa! Rusev stumbling a bit here. Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. No doubt about that one. This is not good. I don't think Rusev knows where he is. He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way up? Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Uh oh, Brian looking for it. The yes lock is applied. Where will the opponent tap? This one is over. Can Rusev stay in this after that? Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which can obviously put this match on ice. Finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet. A la Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior. Look out, he breaks free. Great job by him there, but he's still in a tough spot, Cole. And what a reversal from Rusev. For 
many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to look. We've got to cover. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. A kick out after one. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. There it is. The one-hand bulldog. Rusev competing here tonight. The super athlete is looking as fast and strong as ever. Defeating Rusev is a tall order. So how can his opponent do it? Oh, look, Rusev's in position. John Cena with a nice reversal. Going back to our discussion on strategy against Rusev, Corey mentioned that Rusev's friends and derailed the Bulgarian brute in the past. Do you agree, Byron? Rusev's feeling it. Oh, I think this man means business. Can he finish him off here? Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. Flattens him with a clothesline. John Cena is going to have to revise his game plan because right now, the one he's using ain't working. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. If anyone can make a big comeback, you know it's John Cena. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. He's definitely got all pistons firing right now.
The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week. If that's even possible. for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. Well, it'd be unrealistic to expect him to not at least take some offense here. The good news for him is that he still appears to be in a better place than his opponent. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. In off the tag is Aiden English. Instinct. That's the only thing keeping these teams standing at this point. Ooh, John Cena may have it. STF applied! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? This is not good. I don't think Rusev knows where he is. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Now it's time to capitalize. The accolades locked in. The Bulgarian brute is back in this. Let me tell you, that it can cause some serious injury. Rusev's on the attack now. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. 
three. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here are your winners, Rusev and Ian English. Rusev Day. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. Welcome, the Empress of Tomorrow. What's going on here? Here we go. Oh man, still not officially underway. Well, official or unofficial, we're rolling here. Just endless knee strikes. She wants this win bad. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Clearly on a mission here. She's in a bad way now. That's it. It's over. It's over. Is this one rule the no contest? This is the case of a referee not understanding the responsibility that goes along with having so much power. She drops her with a clothesline. Wonder what this is about. 
He ain't messing around. This could honestly be about a few things. Yeah. Let's find out. Well, okay. You gotta love the attitude. Message received, and I, for one, can't wait. I can't believe what we just saw. There's no doubt that everyone in this capacity arena is behind that statement, partner.